now do their jumps in as I count to number Steve's and today jumps got myself a lovely cup of coffee heck yes I have and I'm inside of the expedition you can see I'm wearing that lovely sort of winged ear to type helmet right now anyway the progress tracker the progress tracker has hit 61 percent now you do get a visual representation of the progress above the quicksilver merchant store or at least you do on playstation 5. if you want to see it in actual mathematical form you can go inside of the expedition you can hit on up this badge here and press x to view more details and it comes up with the progress tracker bar and insert the tier no the tip whatever that tier four at nine percent of tier four Okay, right, so hopefully, hopefully now, uh, things might start happening. Well, I say might start happening. Uh, some people have hit me up to say that they can now unlock the Alantian head, and I need to go and speak to Nada, or speak to that sort of weird robot over by Tethers. So I'm going to go do that. However, I did do that before Tier 4 unlocked, and nothing happened. So here we go, Priest Entity Nada. Hello there, mate. How are you? I've got two Echoes on me, and I've also got that weird ball thing that we, we, we created. When I say weird ball thing, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, right, well, he's not saying anything new, and the weird ball thing that I'm on about is this. This seed. The seed of hope. Yes, the voice of the wordless atlas. I don't know whether I need all this sort of stuff on my person. I haven't got much room on my person at the moment. It's full of freaking refiners at the moment. Yeah, because I was... um. I've been spawning up a load of these, you know, the salvage data, but I've built my base now, so I might as well get rid of some of these. And I'll tell you what, I move over all the essential key components for building the robot over to my exosuit to see if that makes any difference whatsoever, people. But I don't think it will. Well, you never know. Right, so let's put over all those robot, robot pits and um, I'll put that over there as well. Done! Right, you know what, instead of deleting all that salvage data, I could have stuck that in my starship, couldn't I? I've got a shed load over there, what if I should not? There you go, have all of that, mate. Cool, alright, well we've got all the key components for building my rubit here. We've got, we've got two echo seeds there as well. Where's that, um, lovely, there's the uh, seed. Right, okay, now let's try talking to Nada. Let's see if that made any difference, I don't think it has. No, no, still the same sort of stuffage. Well, we talk, talk to Polo, uh, Polo as well. There we go, Polo. Hello, Polo. Yeah, have a little word with you. Okay, no, I don't want none of that. Thank you very much. All right, fine. We're going to speak to the roboty type thing over by Tethys, and we'll see if that gives anything. Because some people have been showing videos of it giving you a choice of two things. I haven't been offered that. Now, PlayStation is on the latest set of bug fixes. So here we go. Shell, 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 lost, 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 lost. Where, where, where? Who? Others. Leave. That's all I get. And I've seen other people, they get two options here. You can give them an echo. You can give this guy an echo. On some, on some platforms, you can give him an echo. But apparently, if you do that, then the actual rewards, I'm not too sure whether they're going to unlock at the end. I think this is how it's supposed to be running how I'm seeing it on PlayStation D5. So you're probably thinking, well, Captain Steve, this is going to be a very short freaking video then. No, no, I've got a tip for you on getting echoes for phase five people. So if you build yourself a base on a dissonant sort of world, I've built a base, look this out. I'll put a link to my base if you want to come to the same planet as me and build a base as well. I'll put the video up there, go hit that up. It'll give you the coordinates and stuff. But here you go, I'm going to go over to that base now. Boom, through the Nexus teleporter. Very important step. Use the Nexus teleporter to jump to your base. Because once you've done that, you get a, on a quick menu a quick return back to the Nexus, which is going to be really handy in a moment. So now I'm here, now all I need to do is find myself one of these dissonant echoes. The only thing is, is they seem to place them about 500 U's from another dissonant echo. So you have to travel quite a fair bit. And I've already grabbed all the ones near to my base. So technically, really, what I should do is just jump in my ship and fly somewhere. But if I do that, it can scup up the uh, the whole thing of you know instant translocation back to the Nexus. So you know what? I'm just going to head north. Now there is a storm incoming. Um, I have got my exocraft here, but you know what? Let's uh, let's just glitch in another exo exocraft geo bay on this planet because I went and deleted it. Let me stick that there. Boom! There we go. I've now got an exo mech. Now you can see there that there was a storm about to come in. If you use your exomech, it actually negates storms 
and I think I can still use my quick return even after using my um, my uh, Minotaur. I haven't actually put this to the test, but I'm going to keep heading north for a while inside of my Exo Mech. Boom! Lovely job, there. Go, little Exo Mech. You know you want. Oh, punch it! Fell in the cave. Okay, come on, get out of the cave. Lovely jobs. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? <laughs> Just head over yonder hill. Meow! Pow! Fly! Like the wind, Exo Mech. Meow! Put it on with Netflix. Good idea. So heading over this way. I don't think you can use a scanner inside of the mech. No, you can't. So you can't see if there's any dissonant echoes near you. So every now and again, you've got to jump out of the exit mech. Have a little look around, see if you can spot some echoes. I mean, there's some normal shards over there. We want one that's got like the exclamation markers above it. I'm not seeing any just yet, people, inside of the viewerverse. Heck no, I'm not. So I'm just going to carry on for a little while. I mean, I can just recall in my exo mech whenever I like. So there he is there. I can just stick him there because I've got the geo bay on there. But that's what you want. You've got the fast travel back to the old Nexus whenever you need it. So I'm just going to head on over this way. As the storm batters me, I'm just going to call in the exo mech again and just get my hazard protection recharged for freaking free, mate. So I'm just looking to see if any of these these sort of things spawn in. Meow. Oh no, there's a freaking evil kitten there. Out the way, evil kitten. I'm done, done, I'm done, done. Might as well carry on heading north the way I was going. I've got an off my calm compass marker there, people. I'm trying to dodge an angry kitten. Yeah. Okay, still not seeing one with an exclamation mark on it. Oh, is that another hole in the ground? There's lots of angry kittens on my planet. Okay, sure are. Right. Might have to name them Angry Kitten. I haven't scanned them yet. This planet was discovered by somebody else, though, so you know they might already be named. Okay, right, sod it. Let's scan you then. Let's see if I can name this thing Angry Kitten. Oh no, it's already been uploaded by somebody else. I'm not surprised. Um, yeah, there's a pretty darn hostile environment. This one, when it comes to uh, the wildlife. Anyways, am I seeing one yet? No, still not seeing one with X. Oh my god, he's circling me, people. He wants to have a little bite of the Steve. Well, keep your teeth to yourself, you angry little kitten creature, you. Right, let's head over this way. Bum, bum, beady, bum, bum, beady, bum, bum. I mean, what you can do as you're heading over to try and find these things, I mean, if you see any of those, you can always grab them, just no res resonators or whatever. But there was like salvage tech icons that you could head to, like there, you know, the buried, buried technologies. You can always dig those up to get a few more base parts. You could go damage machinery if you want and hope you get some nice technology. There's other points of interest that you can hit up on the way to doing this, or even knowledge stones if you really wanted to. You know, but um, yeah, I'm just looking to see if I can find one of these blinking things. Bang! Yeah. yeah. Right here, come on. Where are you, you? Frickin' things. Ah! I got bit by a freaking wildlifey creature. Okay, well you can see there that my hazard protection is getting quite low now. So I'm gonna call in my exo mech. Boom. I'm just gonna use that now to go north and you'll see my hazard protection bar starts going back up again. Ha ha ha! Don't need any sodiums! Heck no, so that's quite a nice little cheat for you people. I say it's a cheat, it's just a little bit of a tip. I mean it's in game, so utilise it. You know, exo, exo mechs and exo crafts aren't used all that too often. But you know what, the exo mech, this guy, is pretty darn good. Have you ever jumped into the oceans in this thing? It's pretty cool. Sinks you right to the bottom. It's like being a proper sort of, you know, underwater explorer diver type thing. Uh, pretty darn sweet. And it, it moves fairly rapid as well. It's actually probably better to you than the Nautilus. Alright, okay, well, let's, uh, let's jump out again. Let's have a little sweep around. Let's see if we can see any yet. Still not seeing one. Hmm. That sucks, doesn't it? I've definitely got it blinking installed. But yeah, normally they're about 300 years, well, 300 to 500 years apart from each other. Well, that's what I've found in the past. But I've travelled well over that now. I would have thought I would have seen one of these echoes by now. Hmm. Now, the bigger the planet, the more spread out they are. So if you are going to be doing this at home, you might want to find yourself a nice little compact moon or something to do it on. 
and preferably one with not so much angry freaking fauna that wants to eat you alive. So yeah, Echo Seeds. Have I got the right multi tool installed? Have I got the right freaking bit of tech in there? It's one of these scannery things, isn't it? Where are you, scannery thing? There was an A-class one. There it is, up there. Sod it. I'm going to stick it next to all of this stuff and see. Yes, it's got an adjacency bonus. Maybe I might be able to see freaking further now. All right, come on. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Nope, that didn't help at all. <laughs> okay, well, I can see a hollow terminus over that way. We'll just keep going then, people. Righto. You know what? I'm going to keep heading north. And I'll reconvene with you in a moment and drink some coffee. Okay, Johns, well, I've had a mouthful of coffee and I got to the hollow terminus, but look, there's one of those sentient echoes just over there, mate. Let's go and get said sentient echo. Bloom turd. And then we're going to use the quick return and go back to the old Nexus. So it's just a quick way of showing you if you've got a base on one of these sort of dissonant planets, it really is quite beneficial. I mean, yeah, this might not be the best planet for me to be doing this. Now, what I would suggest is there's like about um, what about a, 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 an actual daily limit to the amount that you can turn in before it caps out. Now, I'm hearing that daily limit is about 20. So, yeah, knock yourself out. There is a new patch coming out soon where it allows you to turn in 10 at a time. Now, I don't know whether that daily limit is per player or per save. So if two, if you've got two saves doing this, because you know a lot of us, a lot of us are doing it twice, so we can get both of the different types of heads, the different head variants. Right, you freaking bit me. You can have that in the freaking face. Yeah, bet you wish you didn't bite me now. Was it worth it? Was it? Was that worth it? No, it wasn't. Was it? No. Ha! Ah. You know what? Fudge you, mate. I'm gonna launch you into freaking space. Boom! There you go. Ha! <laughs> ha! You can fly. Okay, right. Let's have a look. Was it? I only got one. Sometimes you get three. Sometimes you get three here, people. But no, I only got one this time. All right. Okay. Can I see any others? Can I see any others? No, I can't. But anyway, because I'm really just doing a demonstration on this. Normally, I would stick around on here, get all ten, kill a load more freaking cats, launch them about the place, have a bit of fun, a daily sort of jaunt, you know. Right. Anyhow, let's go back to the old Nexus. Chikaboom! Ah, I call it the Nexus. Yes, I know the Nexus is just the mission cube. But if I say anomaly, there's a lot of anom anomalies inside of this game. It's like even the character that you're running around as right now is an anomaly. And there's spatial anomalies that you can encounter randomly in space with using doohickeys and stuff as well. So yeah, a lot of anomalies. So I just call the whole dang thing a Nexus. You know, what the fuck's not? Well, I don't know if it's the wrong name. But, you know. Right, I've got my coffee. Yummy, yummy coffee. Right, oh, right. Let's um, let's head on up then, and let's uh, go and feed this into the, the thing at the back of here. Might as well just jump up onto this platform up here, mana. Okay, us. Lovely, jubbly. Right, let's chat this guy up again anyway, just just to see if he, if he responds any different. Nope, it still says leave. Okay, cool. Right, there we go. Hold on, I just got given ten echo seeds from video games one thousand. Heck yes! Brilliant! Okay, well that, that's cool. Now I don't know whether there is a thing with duplication of these things. I'm not duplicating them just in case there is. But if you go to these echo seeds here, sometimes you get like a hex code above them, which is odd. I think it's only when you've got like one left or something. Um, move stack. <clears throat> if I just have one, does it do it then? I've seen it where it puts a load of hex code there. I'm not too sure what you have to do to show it as hex code. But anyway, I have got three, I've got 13. I've got 13 to hand in now, thanks to that chap that just gave me freaking 10 of them. How awesome is that? Let's head on in then. Let's go and turn these in. Maybe they've already got their quota for the day. Maybe they've already done their 20, so they're offing a load of others onto other people. Why the fudge not? That's not a bad idea. Right, here we go then. Now, at the moment, I can only do one echo seed at a time. There is a new, new patch that's going to be coming out soon, hopefully to all platforms, that lets you turn in 10 at once. Because at the moment, doing this 13 times, it's not fun. And uh, I'd imagine it's not fun for you guys viewing inside the Viewerverse. Oh, it's just gone up to 62%. It was on 61%. Now, it can be quite disheartening. You know, you do all this work and you don't even see it move a percentile. It'd be nice if we had our own personal bar that shows you your personal um, progress for the day. It'd be nice if it showed you, you know, you've hit your maximum for the day, don't turn any more in. 
something like that as well so it feels like we are doing something ourselves uh, maybe even like your daily personal best I don't know something something to make this feel more gratifying because at the moment this is this, this is not gratifying and when you're trying to do it in multiplayer and there's this one plaque that you've all got to gather around the amount of times that you nearly hit somebody up and ask them if they want to join your freaking game no <laughs> okay no, 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 no I'm trying to do the action stop it all right but he probably didn't do that on purpose it's probably something that he, he's trying to use the same terminal as me and probably sending me game invites not wanting to you know a lot of people are probably going to want to turn off their freaking um, multiplayer because of that it's it's a bit weird it, it's almost like hello games put these things in think yeah that's a nice idea it is a nice idea it's a nice idea but then in practice when you try and do it in practice that idea kind of falls apart slightly and then all I could do is just use this teleporter here teleport back down I could get another seven for today which is probably what I'm gonna go do right now so hit my base go back to my base lovely jubbly I'll probably head south this time now what I am hoping is other people you know, come to this planet and build bases and you know maybe you can teleport to their bases as well so you know spread it out a bit I don't know but yeah to be honest this ba this planet hasn't got a lot of echoes on I've, I've been on planets where there's more echoes than what I'm seeing here but anyway I'm gonna head south now so you know what I can do this in my own time though um, and you guys you know if you want to come here you want to get involved in doing this on from this planet if you if you don't I, to be honest there's not much else going on inside of No Man's Sky apart from collecting these echoes and completing this expedition. So the fact that I might have to travel over a thousand ewes and kill a load of predatory creatures, it keeps me awake doing it because I'm constantly fearing for being bitten by freaking evil cat creatures. So yeah, if you, if you fancy this yourself, come along. Yeah, it's quite a lovely planet to be honest. It's um, one of these cactus ones, so it's hot in the day, it's cold at night. And if things get a little bit too freaking dodgy for you, you know, just call in the old Exomech. Yeah. Don't know whether you can use, you know, you can't use my Exomech, but you know, you've you got your own Exomech here. I think that there was a limit on how many Exomechs can be in a system. So yeah, anyway, people, that's pretty much all I've got for you. Yeah, I don't want to jibber jabber on any more than I already am. I'm just going to go and finish off this lovely cup of coffee. Oh my god, thanks for freaking cat after me. Hmm. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. There you go, look. I'm, I'm putting a little game image down there. You can still see me playing. I'm still running around. I'm still playing. I'm still playing, mate. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again, people in the viewers. Have you fudged?